Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mr. Ponder's class. Um, yeah. If you have questions, you can email me at, or post or tweet or comment. I don't know. Welcome to e-learning. We're going to be doing some Arduino stuff. Um, you should have a classroom code in the first set of directions for yourself and our class. And we're going to do our very first blink circuit. So you're going to go over here to this uh, create new circuit. Then we're uh, going to do some coding and some building. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this down arrow and grab an Arduino. Arduinos are like microcomputers. And we're just going to grab this blink one right here. So this is going to be the very first one. A lot of these assignments aren't like automatically built for you. Um, and then we're going to go into basic. So a couple things about this first assignment here is we're going to get this to blink. Um, if I hover over an LED, first of all, you can change the color. If you don't like red and you want to change it to green, so all I did was single click it and then this pops up and you can change it to whatever color that you want. Okay, this next thing right here that maybe we haven't talked about yet, these are called resistors. And resistors come in different color codes. So for example, if I change this to kilo ohms, um, you can see it's red, red, yellow. And so um, we're not going to get into the color encoding of in this video right now. But I do want to point out that um, you need to have a, whoops, I'm sorry, click on that again. You need to have a resistor that is this right here, anywhere from about 150 to like a thousand maybe. I usually shoot, whenever I'm plugging in an LED, um, I usually have it about 220. Now, let me kind of show you what happens if you don't have an LED. All LEDs have a negative side, which is a cathode side, and a positive side, which is an anode side. Usually with an LED, the e, um, positive side has a longer wire. It's kind of hard to tell right now. So if I plug this directly into pin 13 and I hit start simulation, ah, we've got an error. See this little error right here? Okay. And it's shooting you an error and it's saying, you know, you need a resistor, you need a resistor. If you did this in real life, the LED would pop and break and we'd be without an LED. All right, let me bring this back. And usually whenever you bring in a resistor, it, uh, automatically it automatically goes to um, one kilo ohm so I'm gonna change this to 220 and I'm gonna change this to ohms here and then I'm going to plug that in and I'm gonna plug in pin 13 um, the reason why it's pin 13 is so this is a small version of a computer and we are building with these inputs all right here and there's inputs all down here you can see these down here are analog and these up here are your digital uh, the reason why I'm plugging into 13 is because this light right here is going to blink when this light blinks and when I go to code since this was a, an example and we just brought it in the codes already built for us so the cool thing about a Tinkercad is you have block coding or you have text coding. Let me hit continue there. And whenever you have these backslashes in our coding, maybe we've learned that these are just comments. So those don't really affect the code. It's just kind of for humans to read. Um, and then what is going to happen is in pin 13 is our output as we read this code. Um, and it's going to loop it's going to loop forever. Whenever pin 13 is high, it's going to delay for a thousand milliseconds, and it's going to turn off or low for a thousand milliseconds. So let's see what a thousand milliseconds looks like as I press the start simulation. You saw it plug in there, and now you see the light is on for one second, off for one second, on for one second, and then I'm going to hit stop. Now I'm going to change the code in here. And I'm going to change this to like 500. Um, where's my 500? All right, change this to 500. 
and press start simulation. You can see it plugs in, and now it's going twice as fast. So it's on half the time, it's off half the time, it's on for a half second, off for a half second, and then um, I can say, hey, let's change this even more to like 10 milliseconds. And 10 milliseconds on, 10 milliseconds off. Holy cow, look at this. It's blinking so fast that you can't see it. Um, now you have noticed I haven't changed the code here. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's get back in here and turn this back to 1,000 milliseconds on, 1,000 milliseconds off so that it matches our comment code. And press start, make sure that it's on for one second, off for one second, which it is. One of the last things I want to encourage you to do is click up here where it just gives you some kind of funny um, title, and we're going to just call this Blink LED. And right here, there is this like note. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to click kind of anywhere on the top. And I'm going to annotate and just put my name. So when you're doing yours, please put your name. And then you're all done. Okay, you're done. You don't have to, have to hit the turn in button. Um, your teacher will go into their Tinkercad classroom and check and make sure that your code is correct. Uh, we'll simulate it, make sure everything works. I do want to show you this cool thing right here. So it makes a list of everything you'll need, which is going to be super helpful whenever we get back to school. You can take this list, you can come down to my classroom, and you can grab all the parts you want, and you can start building all of this cool stuff that we're going to be playing with, designing, and building virtually as we're doing some e-learning. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, tweet me, or comment below.